Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Coaster. We're going to have a shorter episode today as we continue the build series. And what we're doing this episode is building some decoration to go around the cube flat ride. Um, I'm sure you could probably get away with using some other flat rides if they're small enough with this setup. But I figured the cube, with them kind of showcasing some new elements via their Facebook page and things like that, kind of inspired me. Uh, to use this flat ride as their template and then also it was kind of suggested in the previous build episode when I was asking for more ideas and what we're going to be doing here with the main theming this is um, I guess combining two of Frontiers games together a little bit uh, in Planet Coaster we will be building somewhat of a loose representation of a landing pad from Elite Dangerous now Elite Dangerous being their other game uh, their space simulation game, which is kind of their main uh, known game that they've released here about a couple years ago. Uh, Planet Coaster was just kind of a, a surprise thing, in my opinion, that I didn't see them uh, coming out with, uh, as I thought they might be too busy with just Elite Dangerous. But combining the two, I don't think has been done yet, which is a little bit surprising. I tried to see if anyone was building an Elite Dangerous theme park. Um, it might be something that I might want to try and tackle here later on as I think with the with the new bits and pieces and recoloring of things we're, we'll be able to kind of explore some more uh, in-depth themes down the line. Uh, the main reason we have a shorter build episode though is that I, <laughs> I accidentally lost some footage here and there so you're going to see some some skips. Uh, as we scope over some of the detailing, which is kind of a shame. Uh, the detailing was pretty interesting to do along these like metal struts that are holding up the interior walls of the hangar bay. Uh, but I did manage to actually capture us working on the Elite logo here, just out of wood on this raised up slope in front of the cube. And doing detail work like this, this is what kind of gives rides their character and charm. And then also, it's how you really tie in the Elite Dangerous theme. Uh, just by throwing in the logo itself, front and center. And you're, like a lot of this build can be repurposed for other things as well. There's kind of a decent amount of plaza front space that is unused by the queue line or anything like that. And in doing so, you're, you're able to potentially maybe put some restaurant elements along that area as it's kind of a plaza in itself. The main color scheme, of course, is white, black, and orange. And that is a, a very normal sci-fi color scheme. Orange, of course, being kind of the cautionary color, kind of the, hey, this is where you're supposed to be parking your spacecraft, things like that. The black, of course, just being... Kind of futuristic sci-fi with the white contrasting lines around it uh, we have some orange markers on the floor there just you know as if uh, that is marking out where to put down your craft as well the interior is actually completely plain um, i don't want to do an interior on this build itself um, I, just because I don't think it's going to really add much and then also I want to try and keep the part count low so that I know the blueprint would eventually save and we do have uh, less than 1,000 parts at the end here uh, this raised up section this upper section is kind of the I guess control tower command center of this docking bay is a very common element on these things and then to the left of it I'll actually make a raised up kind of box tower itself as well add some detailing pieces on there uh, but it's definitely this front just row windows the back side of the building is completely flat and plain you guys in your parks will be able to blend this in together I think better than I could just preemptively like laying down shrubs and things I think that might not work for everyone's theme and so keeping that in mind that's why I'm not going to detail beyond just the the core building itself everyone else can can add the finishing touches like lighting or anything that they find uh, that could be missing and, and that also allows you guys to expand on you know my core framework and get you guys involved in the build itself this is kind of the last detail piece I managed to capture on camera, and this is just a kind of catwalk 
uh, strutted kind of support structure just going across here. I was thinking about maybe making a crane element, but decided to just leave it plain, you know, something maybe to represent an area where the buggy might drive across or uh, something more utilitarian, like maybe a utility truck would go across there. So let's go ahead and check it out in real time in its finished state. Okay, so here we are. This is kind of a mock-up of what you might expect with the cube. The cube, of course, plays some crazy sci-fi music. You're spinning around in this upper echelon area that's just held up. Looks like something from NASA, so that's why I think the space theme was really fitting on this. Uh, the entrance and exit both come out the left side here, and we have just some more kind of these copper struts overhanging the entryway. Uh, the exit being, of course, just this first door here. And so when they exit, they'll exit out that way, which is marked out. We have a little bit of a spinning element here using the animatronic water wheel element. And this is uh, almost to act like a giant fan blade that might be spinning, uh, just to give it some more movement when the whole thing's at rest. Uh, we also got the entrance which is over here on the far side these by the way these are the large metal they're almost like shocks support structures holding up the walls of the dock uh, using a wooden element I believe one of the window decorations and then a black wooden element to give that kind of shock absorbing look onto it orange black you know, this is one of my favorite color schemes to use. You, you can probably tell that just from Star Made. This is kind of very reminiscent of those color schemes that we're using in there. I even dyed the cube, uh, white support with the orange and black seating. Uh, sadly, the blueprint itself won't have the cube included in it. You'll just get the whole building around it. And on the right side, we had some room. So I went ahead and threw in just a Cosmic Cow in a Chief Beef. Uh, in case you guys want to use this space for something else, which you can do so easily. You can make this a seating area or some type of light plaza. I do like the sharp angles and things with the concrete, stuff like that. Uh, the layered plating on the roof, kind of really nice, eye-catching a little bit there. And just the orange struts going around. I could throw in some more detail. But I'm pretty happy with this current stage. You know, I wanted something simple, something uh, simple, clean that you guys can quickly use and then detail it out a little bit for yourself to fit everything else in your park. So let's pause that so we're not going to listen to the same song for five minutes. Uh, but other than that, this is pretty much it on there. So if you guys enjoyed this build, you can find it on the Steam Workshop. The link is in the description down below. If you guys have any suggestions, ideas for what you want, might want to see next that, that we're going to be doing in our build series going forward until uh, beta or the release of the game next month, go ahead and let me know that down below as well. Uh, check out the other build that we built last time over here. This is, of course, Kiki's Delivery Service. This is the bakery element here this actually isn't a shop or anything like that it's just a decorative piece but you can easily just turn it into a shop yourself so uh, you know I didn't want to box anyone in to make it a specific item uh, unlike this one which you know obviously is just gonna take the cube but as I said go ahead and check out my other videos if you want more creative goodness go ahead and subscribe if you're new for notifications when we release videos I tried to do so daily uh, doesn't always happen, but you never know with work and things. Uh, go ahead and like the video if you guys like Planet Coaster, and I'll see you guys next time.